About 300 million years ago, all Earth's continents were smashed together into one massive supercontinent called Pangaea. You could walk from North America to Africa without crossing an ocean. But Pangaea wasn't the first supercontinent, and it won't be the last. Pangaea formed around 335 million years ago, when land masses collided and merged. The name means all Earth in Greek. At its peak around 250 million years ago, Pangaea was surrounded by a single ocean called Panthalassa. North America was connected to Europe and North Africa, South America attached to Africa, Antarctica, Australia and India joined Southern Africa. You could walk from the South Pole to North Pole without crossing water. The interior was thousands of miles from any ocean, creating Earth's most extreme continental climate. The center was a massive desert with scorching summers and freezing winters. The heart of Pangaea was nearly uninhabitable. Life was bizarre. This was before flowering plants. The landscape had ferns and conifers. Reptiles dominated, not mammals. This was the age of early dinosaurs. The best evidence for Pangaea is fossil distribution. The reptile Mesosaurus lived in freshwater and couldn't cross oceans, yet its fossils appear in both South America and Africa. The plant Glossopteris is found in South America, Africa, India, Antarctica, and Australia. These organisms could only spread if continents were connected. The Appalachian Mountains line up perfectly with ranges in Scotland and Norway when you fit continents together. They were once the same mountain chain. Pangaea began breaking apart around 200 million years ago, over tens of millions of years. The first split separated it into Laurasia in the north and Gondwana in the south. As continents separated, the Atlantic Ocean formed in the gap. This continues today. The Atlantic grows about one inch wider yearly as North America and Europe drift apart. The breakup had massive effects. Separated populations evolved differently. Climate patterns changed. Ocean currents shifted. The separation created the biodiversity we see today. Here's the mind-blowing part. Pangaea wasn't Earth's first supercontinent and won't be the last. Earth goes through the supercontinent cycle. Before Pangaea was Rodinia about one billion years ago, Scientists predict that in 250 million years, continents will collide again, forming Pangaea Ultima. Africa will collide with Europe, the Americas will merge with Asia, Australia will crash into Southeast Asia. The cycle continues. Follow the History Vault for more mind-blowing Earth history. Can you imagine walking from New York to Morocco without crossing water? Let me know in the comments.